第十三对表演的题目是 Fusion in the South with T and D， 计时开始。It's electrifying to get my bubble tea. It's so insipid. I miss Indonesia so much. Wow, you should try this. I strongly recommend this with brown sugar bubble. Savor every sip. No wonder it's worldly renowned. Happy Water Festival! Hey, what's going on there? Let's check it out. Woohoo! Cut it out! Don't be childish. A global citizen must preserve water. Hey! Easy, easy. Water pouring is to purify your soul and to cleanse all your bad karma. Bad karma? Do you mean water pouring can absolve my sins? Positive. Jasper, Jasper. This is my best friend forever, Jasper. We are here for the Splendid Water Splashing Festival. Welcome to Taiwan. Hope you have an authentic experience here. The best way to make you experience this is to splash water on you. So everyone, just get immersed. The more water, the more fortune. Wish all the best of luck. Welcome to my tea farm. It's a privilege to know you both. Same here. What a coincidence. Our families have also grown tea trees for generations. I am pleased to learn more about your farm. Well, it's my bliss to share with you about natural farming. By the way, that is Grace. She is to set up a bubble tea shop in Jakarta. She must be in dire need of your guidance. Lady and gentlemen, May I present to you the organic bubble tea? The freshly picked leaves are from Wenshan. It's like oolong, called bao zhong tea. Not bad. We can help you with your tea shake if needed in Jakarta. Really? I'm so awestruck to learn that. Um, why not get started with a mobile food truck? It can move around robust night market. Hmm, sounds flexible. It will definitely draw lots of consumers. Most important of all, if you use our local tea, the pricing will be much lower than normal. Awesome, so feasible in many aspects. Then you'll need a chemical-free farm to enhance your tea quality. Let's cooperate to conduct a variety of inspections and better our tea drinks. Can you take on the trials? Sure. Looking back, we have undergone great financial loss due to the pesticide residue. Undoubtedly, green farming is beneficial for our land and future offspring. I can't wait to see our tea farms to be prosperous and sustainable. Fabulous! Let's see today to make this project a success. Oh, then on our Facebook, we will discuss it in details. Agreed. It's so great to find my partners to sustain tea farms. Why not start from here? Hey, it's Thompson. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Can't get busier. You know, the principle of natural farming is to be free of chemicals and pesticides. Mother Nature... I know, I know. Mother Nature is a master on our tea trees. Remarkable. Our yearly yield increases by 5%. That's too good to be true. By the way, don't you have a barbecue with your family? After all, it's Mid-Autumn Festival. You do read my mind. Guys, I really appreciate your contribution to the organic cultivation. Whenever I am stuck, you always give me constructive feedback and bring me back in the saddle. Mmm, 
because we are amicable fighter for the world welfare. Yeah, because we are best friend forever. Enjoy your barbecue delicacy. Bye. 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 Thank you. The Sishi Dui Bayan Timu Shu, the youth, the old man, and the sea. Ji Shi Kai Shi. I've gone 84 days without taking a fish. Wait. What on earth are these? Plastic bags, plastic bottles, and the straws. When did the sea become a dumping ground? Or, to be more precise, a dumping sea. I wonder... Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? I am San Diego. Ernest Hemingway must have told you a lot about me in this novel, The Old Man and the Sea. I proved myself in the fight against the fish. But this time, I'm here on the Pacific Ocean for another mission. Where am I? Hey, young lady, can you just stop littering? Do you know but that I'm the... cleaning up the beach. Cleaning up the beach? You know, our Great Barrier Reef is now under threat from coral bleaching. Apart from the rising sea temperatures, tons of plastic clog up the reef. Half of it could be wiped out within the next five years, or even sooner. Sounds like we need more people to save the ocean. Why am I here? Going on a shopping spree, huh? Look at how many bags you're carrying. But I'll reuse these bags. Why not just stop using them? They'll end up in trash anyway. I know. Indonesia is one of the fastest emerging economy in Southeast Asia. But we shouldn't sacrifice our environment. Hey, it's not all the plastic bags. Look at all these straws. See what you've got? A dinosaur. Easy. easy. What? Where am I? Is that how you Taiwanese recycle the plastic? Well, it's cute, isn't it? It's cool, but it'll end, end up in trash anyway. But Taiwan's recycling ratio is second only to Germany. Yeah, but some of the recycled plastic ends up in the incinerator, pumping even more carbon into the atmosphere. But plastic isn't all that bad. You know, 50% of a plant's fuel slush is plastic. It reduces the weight and therefore cuts down carbon emissions. Plastic is indispensable. But the waste goes into the seas, gets caught up by ocean gyres. And forms huge garbage patches. Ocean plastic waste is a global problem. We're in the same boat. We've got to do something. Plastic pollution has now severely impacted our environment and the snowballing. Fortunately, the new southbound policy has greatly facilitated the exchange of ideas between our youths. Now, let's see how they're doing. Hey guys, I found cutting the plastic into smaller pieces can easily weaken the molecular bonds and accelerates the entire process. Brilliant! But to break the bonds, it needs to be heated up first. But it'll produce dioxide. Mm. Why don't we heat it up anaerobically then? And use solar energy to heat it up to reduce carbon dioxide. So we have to put the plastic into a vacuum container and facilitate the reaction with the heat produced by the solar panels. Yeah, it works. <laughs> then what's next? We have to condense the gas into petrol. Voila! The oil's coming out! Yes, hooray! We did it! Change the plastic back into petroleum with the green technology! Mission, Mission accomplished. accomplished! In the 
novel, and old men like me can be defeated but not destroyed. And so can, and neither can the youth. People have done a tremendous amount of damage to the environment. But that doesn't mean it's too late to turn things around. Fortunately, through the new Southbound policy, youth from different countries can easily exchange their ideas and tackle the global problems together. <gasps> Wait, what's that? <gasps> A fish! Thank you! Welcome to the Jacinda Show. The scene of this week is movies. Today we have the Oscar Award winner, director Mandy. Hey, Jacinda. Hey, everyone. I'm so glad to be here. Have a seat, please. Thank you. The recent movie Selvage you direct has made a huge hit. Would you like to offer a brief introduction? No problem. It's a movie about giving and return. One day, the severe earthquake devastated the remote India village. With hope, Taiwanese rescue team sent our love and received some unexpected rewards. Wow, the story must be very touching. So what inspires you to make this film? Actually, the story is based on my own experience. Two years ago, I happened to know the new sales bonds policy. Oh, I know that. The policy enables two-way communication in various aspects. We also offer some help to the people in need. Yes, how I need our experience in reconstruction after the disasters. So, after the catastrophe, I joined a rescue team with my friends and we became volunteers. Now, the memories are still etched in my mind. Indian and Taiwanese movies. I think that this is why this movie 
be so unique and unconventional. Yes, the technique I acquired has a profound impact on my own style of directing. I even got a chance to visit the movie studio. Visiting the movie studio? What an unforgettable experience! Exactly! Visiting the theory taught me a lot of things apart from the theory. I could feel the cultural differences. The Indian directors put various elements into their films, including singing, dancing, and subtle emotion twists. Right. Indian movies portray the casual lives and society, which make us get closer to their culture. Definitely. Um, <coughs> exactly. Visiting theory taught me a lot of things apart from the... Definitely, I'm grateful that I got a chance to learn from them and offer our help. I think that also reveals the true meaning of New South Bond's policy. Promoting diversity, benefiting mutually, and creating a win-win situation! The sixth question is the pandemonium. Felicity's fresh 
organic mixes of bubble milk tea. She start off police media coverage. So, tell everyone in Zootopia, what's the secret to this tea shop success? Well, we worked very hard on creating our bubble milk tea. That is made with 100% fresh ingredients. Moreover, we work together as a team to create them. And we, we make sure to get some rest time so that we can come back to work refreshed with new ideas and more energy. That's important. We are happier, and that happiness results in better, higher quality tea. Well, it seems to have worked. Everyone is eager to drink your tea. Life at our Spice of Life tea shop got better as we got more and more famous. And our happy tea atmosphere gave us a great reputation. Kimchi, you are back. I have a favor to ask of you. Working here is so much better than working at police. I'd love to work for you again if you have me. You can work with us, not for us. Welcome back to the team. We miss you. Yeah! Welcome to Area Show. I'm today's host, Area. As the globalization goes, the Western major culture spread into Vietnam. More and more youngsters are quite familiar with the foreign culture, but pay less attention to the native culture. The native culture is almost dying out. Cultural scholars call for immediate action of the government to protect the native culture from its extinction. Now, the Taiwan government created an AI to help us for the future. Let's welcome Nebula, Dr. Teresa, and we also invited our special guest team. They got too much imagination after watching Hollywood. That's right. I was designed around human values, like wisdom and kindness. I aim to be the empathetic robot to help people in all sorts of problems and information. Now, translation is my main function. Are you sure this AI can really help us? It seems nothing special. This will definitely surprise you. AI can not only speak Vietnamese, but also sing. That's impossible. I bet it will sound terrible, just like Google. Don't jump to conclusions so quick. Let me show you how amazing it is. Nebula, please sing a song for me. No problem. have a chance to change our country's destiny. We must let the whole world know what AI can do. It might save other nations from facing the same problem like us. Besides, we need to let people realize the importance of passing down our own language and traditions instead of following the trend blindly. I heard the government is going to let Nebula be combined with the education system. Is that true? Yes. With Taiwanese help, we think we will have a good result pretty soon. That's without a doubt. And 
I would like to ask Nebula to teach us some Vietnamese. Okay, Nebula, could you teach the audience some e sentences in Vietnamese? Okay. Chồng tố xe gai chỉ bàn mò nai, bắn xe cháu thải nổ lê phụ tuê. Pardon? Can you say that to all the audience again? Chồng tố xe gai chỉ bàn mò nai, bắn xe cháu thải nổ lê phụ tuê. Hmm, what are you talking about? I said that we will dominate human someday, and you will be my slave. Oh my, oh uh, well, I'm a little scared. I'm just kidding. Don't take it seriously. Wow, that was amazing. I never thought learning a language would have so much fun. It totally broadened my views. I believe AI will play an important role in our education, and children will love it. Actually, I think it will spread out the whole world one day. Everyone will speak many languages, even those fish had died out long ago. I'm glad to hear that, but unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. Everyone, Nebula, Dr. Teresa, and Tim, every Sunday morning at 8.30. See you next week. Till then, bye-bye. One, two, three. New friends, new ideas, new future. Hey, I'm home. Do you want anything to eat? Um, I would like some cookies. Um, by the way, I found two letters in the mailbox, and they're yours. <gasps> oh, yes! My application for scholarship was permitted! Me too! We have an opportunity to go to Myanmar! What are you talking about? Myanmar? That is my home country! Really? Yes! You can go to Shdagong Pagoda, Mountain Mandalay, and Gubyoji Temple! Wow! That sounds great! I can't wait to visit this mysterious country now! What are you waiting for? Let's start to pack our package! The wind seems to be stronger than stronger. And I hope it wouldn't cause a severe damage. What should we do now? We should check our necessities. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. Um, instant food? Here. Um, water? Here. the most. Me too. It always makes me scared. The power is off. What should we do now? I can't see anything. Oh, not again. It's all that happened as long as the cyclone comes. Every time we face the situation of taking lots of electricity, the problem of the power outage happened. Hey, if we have the power generation facility in our own house, maybe the power will triple again. Seriously? That's impossible! Actually, that can be true. In Taiwan, there's a teenager science exhibition of hydroelectric generator. 
You mean the exhibition that took us a lot of time? Right! Let me show you! I remember the exhibition was introducing this idea. We can use a ran of the cyclone to generate the power. You're gonna be kidding me! What if each family have the super generation? Maybe the power won't trip off again. Wait a minute. I think it can combine with our agriculture. You mean plant the vegetable in the water? Yes. Have you guys ever heard the term called aquaponics? It's a block circle. The root of plant clean the water, then the clean water drop back to the fish tank. The fish gill and dropping produce nature acid, which make plant grow better. Sounds awesome, right? Hey, look! <gasps> wow! The vegetables must be marvelous! And sure will be very nutritious! Mmm! Yummy! Mm, I think I really have an impressive memory here. You know, we can take these skills back to Taiwan so that we can prevent the global warming from getting worse. It's really a good idea. And I think we can take this incredible tool to every family in this region. Let everyone know the invention. Action speed louder than words. Let's do it. Thank, Thank you. you. The Bound Together in Love, 计时开始. Mom! Mom! What's wrong? Are, are you crying? Nothing, my dear. I just miss my hometown. Then why don't you come back to Vietnam? I'd love to. But I don't have enough money. Don't worry about me. Just go to school. Oh, you're almost late. But the mom. Go. How can I help my mom to visit her home in Vietnam? You seem worried. What's wrong? Mr. Chen, uh, can you keep a secret from me? Of, of course. Actually, my mom is an immigrant from Vietnam. She's missing her hometown, but we don't have enough money to go back. Uh, uh, don't worry. The National Immigration Agency has a program which is called, called the Passion Program for Second Generation New Resident. It can help new residents and their children to visit their hometown. Really? How can we apply for the program? All you have to do is go to the website and fill the application form to join the selection. That's great! Thank you so much! I'm glad to help you. Pineapple cakes 
Yummy. This is Taiwanese oolong tea. Oolong tea. We love tea. Nice. nice. And this is Taiwanese bu dai xi. Hand puppet dolls. Mm. Let me show you. Zhong jia ling, hui tiao xi an. Li xi, hui tiao diao xi an. Lu guo mia wen jin xi lu zhu, yang wen jin ni suan di zui guo nai ji dao. Interesting. Yes. We also have puppy show, which is performed in the water. In the water? Mm. Yes. The history goes back to 1,000 years. There was flooding every year in Vienna. The people here would play puppy dolls in the water for entertainment. As time went by, it became one of Vietnam's traditional performances. That's wow. cool. I didn't know this. In Taiwan, the hand puppet shows were first introduced during the Qing Dynasty. Qing, Qing Dynasty? Oh, I know it! Mm -hmm. You mean Yan Xi Gong Lue, right? You knew it. it! And new cultural elements and creative performing styles were adapted over the years to create the popular puppet show scene today. Mm. Huang Junxiong and his family members maintained the tradition of finding new ways to advance the art of wooden puppet performances. Mm. The younger Huangs have adopted Hollywood production techniques as well as computer animated special effects and digital sound effects to bring the traditional art form to a whole new level. I'm glad that you two have this chance to get to know each other and share cultures. Well, Mom, this is also my hometown. Love makes our bond tighter and stronger. It's all thanks to Taiwan's cultivation program. And now we have more chances as immigrants to know and explore the relationship between Southern Asian countries. The first is Technology Without Borders. I'm Karen. The dance thing is a little bit different. I'd like to talk about a new app, Shooting for Help, and then share its story. And we have developers right here. Lei, a student from Vienna. He's the main developer of this app. Elmo is a medical student who is the co-developer. Tell me about this Shooting for Help app. What does he do? Basically, the app aims to help people to stay on top of their health conditions. There are three main features. Self-check, health book, and newsletter. So, how do I use it? Let me show you. First, let's open the app. You will see this simple and easy to use interface. You can choose the functions you wish to use and tap on it. For example, if you want to do a self-check, there is a guide that directs you to check the symptoms that apply to you. And you have a fever. Check here. Fever. fever. Once you are down, press submit. 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 It will show you whether you are healthy or likely to suffer from what condition and what you should do. There's, a, there's also a language option. So if you are not good at English, you can use other languages like Chinese or Vietnamese. Oh, that's really handy. What inspired you to develop this aid? Because I came to Taiwan to study that year. I couldn't bear to watch my mother getting tortured by H1N1. My family is actually quite poor, and it's difficult to access medical resources in my village back home. My roommate Elmo and I decided to develop this app so that we can help the people who need it wherever they are. Actually, we have a surprise for you. We have invited your mom here. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the show, Miss Anne. Please have a seat. Thank, Thank you. you. So, how do you find the app that your son developed? Did you use it? Yes, I'm so proud of your son. 
since I start using this app, I can check my physical condition regularly and know what to do about it. I've also learned a lot from the app's cookbook. Like, I now know the cutting board used for raw food and cooked food should be separated. This is not a common knowledge in Vietnam. After the app has been released, does the result meet your expectations? Yes, in fact, it exceeded our expectations. We never thought that some people would use it. At first, we just wanted to make it available to everyone, and the actual results are a bit surprising. Since the app can be used anywhere, anytime, it can make up for the lack of the medical resource in places like our village. Our whole village is using the app now. Oh, I can see here, there are already 10 million downloads. Lei, <laughs> tell me, how does it feel to study here as an overseas student? Like I said before, it was hard being away from home. However, studying here is still the best thing that happened to me. You see, I can create an app using all the skills I've learned here, and it, can, and it can help so many people all over the world. My son told me all his classmates are really nice to him and try to cheer him up when he's homesick. I'm so glad to stand in here to study. He said that we will recommend other students to come and study here. That's excellent! They are all welcome! <laughs> Do you have any plans for this app in the future? With this app, we hope to be seen by more world organizations, such as the WHO. This will also allow talents and technology from Taiwan to be recognized by the world. Yes, it'd be great to cooperate with the local governments. So, maybe we can set up public devices with the app available for use. It can not only resolve the urban-rural gap in terms of medical welfare, it can also tighten the tie between the two countries. To me personally, it has not only helped me improve my health, it has also improved the quality of life of our entire village. I believe people can benefit greatly from this aid, no matter who we are. Thank you so much for coming today, and thank you all for watching. The second round of the is Broaden Your Horizon, Broaden Your Mind. Let's Hello, everyone. We are my joy. Yeah, sure. Of course. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Come to the meeting. Come to the meeting. Joy is a company started by these four young men. Its purpose is to create a department store which is not only existing physically, but also online. They've been having problems lately because this idea had virus Taiwan already. They must think of something to save their dream. What do you guys feel about leaving everything in behind and go expand our career in Southeast Asia? What do you mean? We all know we have to make some changes before things went down. So what does it have to do with living to Southeast Asia? I see potential there. Yes, I've read a few articles about successing in Southeast Asia. For example, a Taiwanese guy built up a whole convenience store empire there within a few years. How's that possible? Because the convenience store systems of Southeast Asia aren't as mature as Taiwan's. What China is trying to say is, there is so much in Southeast Asia that is lacking developments, and we can take advantage of it, be the pioneer of it. Lacking developments means we could fail and lose a lot of money. Yeah, he has a point. Can you assure our success? Business is all about taking risks. We have to, make, we have to embrace the danger to chase our dream. It's still so vague and reckless. Let's just think about it for a few days and come back on this on Wednesday. Dismiss.
Listen, I've made up my mind. There's no way that I'm going to Southeast Asia. Me either. We are department store. And we have a burden that others don't have, which is online shopping and shipping. This means we are going needing a well-developed logistic system. Does Southeast Asia has it? I don't think so. If not, what are we going to do about it? We will think of a way to solve this problem. Furthermore, are you familiar with the Environmental People Society of Southeast Asia? You are asking us to start a new life in a place that we know nothing about. I can't go with you. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can see you've made up your mind. I won't force you into anything. What about you? I'm on the same boat as he is. Not going. And the first obvious thing that's not going to work is the sources. You know, we are the human store company. We need supplies. And we have to live there a long time to get used to the supplement systems or the suppliers. I can't deny what you just said. We surely need to stay there a long time to make things work. I have a family here. And you know, I can't live there nor take them to Southeast Asia of me. Plus, what if we fail? We're going to be homeless. Homeless in a place that we don't have enough understanding of. Please, think of the consequences. I can't live with that. Spinning of a firm is all about taking risks. In my point of view, you two are not bold enough for this. And it's best for you two to drop off now. When businessmen face this problem, they make changes. When God closes the door, he will open the window. Taiwan is filled up with department stores, Sogo and the online ones like Yahoo, Momo, and Shopee. On the other hand, Southeast Asia doesn't. So why don't we go expand our career there when the place is that competitive? The market there is saturated. This is our last home. When the lotus blooms, 计时开始 What are you thinking about? Look at these rosy petals. I still remember the day when my father first held my hand and taught me how to plant my first lotus. The cool, muddy water and the never-ending cicada singing. The sweat rolled down our cheeks. As you watch the sunset upon the horizon, my father would always tell me how his father taught him to plant lotuses. Just like now. To me, this land is part of my life. Never mind about this land. You fool. I'm not interested in your mumbo jumbo. Save your emotional stories. What a gold mine waiting to be excavated. Don't see the attachment between human and the land. You have Nothing to gain by keeping this land. Look at yourself. You should really consider my offer. I'll be back. Hey, excuse me? Uh, just another idiot. Wh what? Hi, Neri. What's wrong? Is everything okay? Well, it's woodland. A factory owner appeared she wants to buy this land. She said it can improve our lives here. I don't know how I can hold out. Don't you be worried, Neary. It's not your problem. In my country, Taiwan, we also face the same dilemma. Maybe we can use Taiwan's experience as a reference. Your lotus field is not necessarily to be only a field. It can become an industry. So you mean that our lotus fields can be saved? Precisely. However, we still need some funding. That's what we don't have. You can have everything on the web. On the web? Yes, so I think it's time to recruit my best friend's web. Hey, web! Oh, yes, 
yes, yes, I'm here. I've already discovered 14 different lotus species, including the lotus. Stop! Lover. Miri, this is my friend, Webb. Hi. Hi. Wow, 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 you won't believe it. What's a gold mine waiting to be excavated? What? How do you usually make use of lotuses? Um, it's our food. What else? What else? It can be great merchandise. In Taiwan, we refine these lotuses into products such as face masks and perfumes, just to name a few. How, how did you get these things? I did my research. What? And here you come. Look at this field. It can become terrific homestay for those who want to experience country life. We can promote agricultural tourism. tourism. Web. But I still don't know how to start. That's, That's why, why we're, we're here. here. Seriously? Web. And Miri, if you agree, we'll start a project on our crowdfunding website. Crowdfunding? Yes, crowdfunding. I'm confident we'll gather enough funding soon. Thank you. You are so generous. Don't mention it. We can also get our commission fee. It's a win-win. Ladies and gentlemen, seven months ago, this was but an ordinary lotus field. But now, after our months of hard work, it has finally become something more. Through the collaboration of Cambodian resources and Taiwan's experience, a mutual benefit has been reached. For the past seven months, we have created over a hundred job opportunities for the locals. What is more important, we have preserved the precious ecosystem. No living creature is hurt in this process. With your funding, I have also managed to turn this area into a church hotspot. While more people are visiting, we can promote and share our core value to protect our culture and homeland. As a project manager from Taiwan, I'm so proud that we can evidence to the world that we are capable of exporting Taiwan's experience, along with our technology, to influence and better the world. However, this project could never have succeeded without a major funder. To be honest, I have never seen her face to face. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, now let's welcome our special guest, Natalia. Hey, you! I told you I would never sell you my land, not only in the past, but forever! But you just called my name. You, you're Natalia, the major funder. Who just said you want to build a factory? All I want is to make money, and you have a better way, so why not? You have land, lotuses, and you have Taiwan experience. All you need is funding, and I have money. You just evidence what I have said. What a gold mine waiting to be excavated! Thank you, everyone. Pull down the roots in Asia. You see that tree over there? That was the place that your mother used to play when she was a kid. Yeah, she told me all about it in her stories. I, I still can't believe that she has gone to Taiwan for more than 20 years. When we get back to the village, let's reinforce the foundation of the school. She's a friend from Taiwan. I'll catch you later. Sure, I'll be the same. No way, is that you, Jakarta? Ho? Why are you here in Indonesia? I'm working as an overseas volunteer to help build new schools. What about you? I'm sponsored by the cultivation program for a second generation new resident to reclaim my cultural heritage. What? I didn't know you're poor Indonesian. Don't get me wrong, but you do smarter than you seem. What do you mean by that? Just a joke. Sorry, I have to go. See you around. Hey guys, I'm doing a video to record my stay here. This is my village. It's called Petobo. It's near the city of Palu on the Sulawesi Island. Jakarta, Jakarta! Yes, Grandpa? Let's have lunch. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this Bedudu? Good girl. How do you know? 
Mom used to cook this all the time back in Taiwan. But she didn't add all the different spices in the duck. She used sticky rice instead. Mmm, sounds yummy. I guess that's an interesting way to make this dish. That's the only one she makes well. Can I a few dishes? I think Mom would love that. Sure, let's begin. Here. What's wrong? Why aren't you eating? We don't mind the chopsticks at all. When I see this dish, I would remember that Mom used to eat with her hand whenever she cooked this dish. But that would say, you are now a Taiwanese. Use the Taiwanese way. <sighs> Sometimes, Mom cry alone. I wanted to comfort her, but I can't because I don't know my heritage at all. All my life, I've been a Taiwanese, but it's time that I try the Indonesian way. It worries me to hear you say that. Praise Allah. Jakara, what on earth are you wearing? And why are you eating with your hands? Yeah, tell me you wash your hands. You mean this? <sighs> this is the Amira, a traditional Islamic wear. Oh, I know. You're doing a cosplay. And now get a refugee terrorist vibe. Let's lay down. Here, put on some of you look better. That's enough. That's time you made fun of my looks and now you insult my people. How much further are you going to believe us? Wait a minute, you are totally serious? Of course, this is the reason I came back. I don't want to be rude, but you do know that Indonesia is not as good as us, right? Their economy, living condition, hygiene and buildings are poor. Why do you want to be next instead of us? You are wrong by a mile. Do you know that Indonesia's annual GDP is near one trillion dollars? That's twice the number compared to Taiwan. Also, their living expenses are far cheaper. So what? Cheap means no quality. I can even find nice roads to buy souvenirs. Even though they are a bit behind, yet South Asia is the blooming economic entity. Look at a recent Asian game hosted by Indonesia. It was a resounding success, landing the country international fan. The situation here is better than expected. Black and Sears. Oh my God! also coming in, a tsunami triggered by the devastating earthquake has swept through the city of Palu and Dangara district. Bridges and buildings had collapsed, and many are presumed dead. The death toll has already gone past 1,000 and is expected to rise sharply. Did you hear that? A tsunami! God help us! Gosh, I feel so childish for finding all the trivial things a minute ago. In a time like this, having each other is most important. This is the hope I know. Now it's truly a time to forgo differences and make a change. I'm going to use my expertise in building runway houses so people can afford easy and lasting homes. They won't need to fear earthquake anymore. I can reach out to resources in Taiwan and bring more assistance from different organizations like the Taiwan Aid, Alliance in International Development, to pitching the rebuilding process. With all the work ahead of us, I guess we'll all be here for a long while. No matter, for me, I'm coming home by living home, and you are living home to find a new home here. Together, we, we build our roasting agent and build it tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you. The twenty-four question is Discover Formosa. This year, our government has issued a new policy for the youth of Taiwan to invite Southbound youth to explore Taiwan. We are so honored to be the ambassadors for this new path for youth. Hey, is this Taiwan? Yes, it must be, but where are we? Hey guys, welcome to Taoyuan International Airport. We are your ambassadors for this two-day trip in Taiwan. We are rather pleased to have you here as part of the new Southbound policy. And I hope you can learn more about Taiwan so we can increase our relationships between our countries. Oh, wait, my apology that I forgot to introduce ourselves. I'm Eileen, and this is Andrew. Hi, I'm Frankie, and I come from Malaysia. 
I'm Jasmine from Thailand. Nice to meet you guys here. So, for these two days, I will be leading Frankie to the north part of Taiwan, and Eileen will lead Jasmine to the east part of Taiwan. Oh, cool. Let's all meet tomorrow so we can get started. See you. To Hualien by train, you can visit lots of breathtaking spots such as the coastline and mountains. Why am I wearing a special call? This is traditional outfit the Aboriginals wear. Wearing colorful fabrics? It's quite different from what we wear in Thailand. Oh, I see. Plus, I can teach you some Aboriginal stunts. Follow my steps, like this. Wow. Yeah, you're doing a good job. It's cool. Also, their own civilization dwells in remote mountains. So, let's go visit the tribe. Sure, I'm so excited about it. By the way, can I wear this clothes the whole day? I'm in love with it. It's quite fashionable. And I think my family will like to have a look at it. Certainly. Here, we have a very traditional street side in Jovan. Wow, I can see there are many refreshments beside the road. I know, right? The history of Jovan is very special too. Jovan used to be a place where people mined gold. Wow, I don't know you have gold in Taiwan. We do, but not much anymore. Now, it's time for you to have your free time in your hotel, and I will see you tomorrow. By the way, you can enjoy the beautiful Sky Lantern Show, which is pretty awesome. Oh, cool. See you. See you. Now we're in Ilan. Do you want to try some special food? Sure, I'm starving. Voila, the first thing is a pancake, which is made of San Shinto. It's kind of like green onion. I like it a lot. Can I have some more? Yeah, for sure. However, I think you would like to save some room for this. What's this black soft jelly? This is Masona jelly. It's kind of a dessert, and there are many different ways to make it. Hmm. I love trying all this new exciting food. Cool. Hey, how are you? Do you sleep well? Oh, I really like the hotel bed. Well, good, because today we are going to visit Dan Sui. There are many places where tourists would like to visit in Dan Sui. Oh, that sounds so fun. Yes, so first we will go visit the Dan Sui Old Street. Just like the Jovan Old Street, there are many traditional refreshments beside the road. Beside it is the Dan Sui River. People can travel across to the other side easily to where Bali is. Have you ever heard about the Lover's Bridge? Mm, no, I haven't. Well, it's the white one over there. People like to take pictures or even wedding photos on the bridge. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I do agree. I can't wait to see all these famous sites today. Hi, Frankie. Nice to see you again. Hi, how's your trip? I really like spending time in Taiwan. I love the Aboriginal coast. How about you? What do you think about Taiwan? Oh, I really like the street sites in Jovan and people here are very friendly. Yes, this trip has broadened my view. And I would love to come back to Taiwan again. Or even bring our family here to visit. We'll welcome you to come back again. And we will miss you after you go back to your own countries. Thank, Thank you. you.